video tutorials by Andrew Buckle. In this tutorial I'm just going to show you how you can use global swatches to change the colour of the gradient. Now, first thing to do is actually create those global colours. And I've just got some already here. There's two global colours. You can see the global colours just by a little triangle. Now if I just double click on that, it comes up global swatch. Different from a one like that, which is not a global swatch. Right. There's another one there as well. Now, I've actually created already a gradient, but I'll just quickly uh, select a path and then fill that with that gradient. Now, of course, you could just use any of these other gradients and create it from scratch. But I'm just going to go to the gradient tool and I'll add a few additional gradients. So I've just got these gradients here. Now, if I double click on that, it brings up and you can actually see the swatches here. And I've actually created them using those swatches. I'll just click that one. Sadly, the uh, here doesn't actually show that they're actually global swatches. <laughs> Not that it, I suppose, matters too much, as long as you know they're global swatches. So now I'm just going to go along. You see a little plus sign there. And I'm going to go for the red one there. So just click that. And again, just a bit further along. Double click and go for the mustard colour one. Right, so I've done that. And... I'm, I can save it, of course. I can just say new swatch and just save it there. And I've so already done one, obviously, there. So it's got two now, slightly different. Now, that's not a global swatch. I haven't created it as a global swatch. Next thing to do, I'm just going to maybe use it with a multiple. I could use that one, of course, but I'd just go for, a, say, a lips tool. There's that. And, of course, I could uh, go for select the gradient tool and show options show options i want radial so got that and i can create multiple ones of that hold the alt down hold the alt there and i can like say go back to the rectangle tool and just drag that across and go back to the linear now it shouldn't make any difference in terms of global color so hold that alt down and rotate and I'm just going to add in some type. Now type is slightly different. You have to go via the appearance palette. So type. Just slightly more fiddly. So just select some type there. And go over to appearance and quickly add a new fill. And I've already created that one. So I'm just going to quickly use select that one. Now got all done. Deselect because what I want to do is now change the colour for all those gradient so I just want to go all change say that red don't want that anymore I want to go for blue so I could of course go and edit all those it wouldn't take too long I suppose but I don't want to do that I'm just going to quickly go to the red and say blue and I'm just going to not going to say blue I'm actually going to change it to blue yeah blue And again, it's still global, key thing, and click OK. Now, every single one of those things all suddenly change to blue. So you've got type, you've got the line, you've got also, and also you'll notice over here in the swatches, they've all changed to blue as well, which is very useful. And also you can see over here, again, that little triangle. Right, I hope you found this of interest.